Hey, good evening, friends. We're going to work just on a, one of the sheep's heads tonight. Um, up until now, well, you saw me start blocking it in, kind of show you where it's at. I've basically worked on the drawing up to now um, with paint. You know, I've moved some things around and tried to get in more values. So what I'm going to do tonight, um, I want to get texture on these guys, uh, a lot of texture before I'm done. But the heads, in my opinion, are a lot smoother, of course, than the bodies. So uh, bring you over. We're going to mix up quite a bit of paint. I'm not quite sure how I'm laying it on yet. I, I put this big brush out here. Um, thought we might use that. Might use palette knife. I'm not sure at this point. So what I want to do, I want to give myself some options like always. We're going to mix up some orange over there. Okay. I want different grays. I want uh, warm grays and uh, cool grays. We just made an orange. This is um, ultramarine and transparent red oxide. And we're going to need a lot of paint because I want to get a lot of paint on his head. So um, let's bring more even. Let's get a big old puddle going. Had our opening last night at Sinclair College here in Mason. And uh, tennis was real good. It was promoted really well. We had a really nice crowd. It was a lot of fun. Um, some of the people that I had hoped were coming, a um, couple of people that I did paintings of their businesses that said they were coming did not come. So I'm going to reach out to them. Uh, one of them did, and I took her picture with it. I was hoping, you know, the cute little turquoise book bus, I was hoping she would want to buy it, but she didn't say anything. We'll see, you know, it's going to be up there quite a while, and uh, sometimes I'll reach out to them before it comes down. and. You know, maybe you can offer them a discount because sometimes what are you going to do with those paintings, you know? All right, so that's a nice, cool kind of gray mixture, right? Try not to waste too much paint here. We'll shift some of it off that way. I even want, like for the top of his nose, which is catching the most light, I even want that, put a little yellow in some. A little too much yellow, so I'm pulling it off to the side. More white. That'd be our lightest part on him. Okay, I even want to get you want to get a bit darker. That's much warmer, that's cooler, see the difference, but it's not dark enough yet. And again, I always say that we can intermix these puddles, one into the other two, so we're a little darker there. You know, and I can, again, intermix these, and I may I leave my orange puddle there that I can throw in and warm stuff up. Um, don't know exactly where we're going till we get there. So, I'd like you to have a view of the, the guy we're working on here. I feel like I'm fighting this tripod a little bit. And you are off to the side. I'll try to remember to bring you around the front when we're done. All right. I'll be using my smaller brushes, too, for some of the areas, you know, the smaller areas. And again, I, I like some of the values. I think it needs to be a bit brighter. 
Um, but I'm going to try really hard, you know, to get a lot of paint on the brush, you know, and get some texture on this guy. I want to go a little darker than that even for the other side of his face. Like I said, I think of them having much, they do, their heads are much smoother, so. Um, I mentioned before I have a video by Michelle Burns. Is that her name? Michelle Burns, I think. And she's mostly known as a palette knife painter, but she starts her painting all in a brush first, which is kind of surprised me a little bit, really. Um, so she has everything set up before she goes, and she knows where she's going. And Hope you can see how painterly I am. And we may get a palette knife in here, you know, before we're done. Don't have any definite, definite plans. You know, I'm trying to, as you can see, be very painterly. And I want to, you know, obviously that's much warmer than the stuff I've been laying down. I think people like to see paint. I mean, not that I, of course, always paint this heavy. I don't. So I got that nice light in his ear. You know, you can see basically through their ears. That is really intense, isn't it? Probably too, too bright. You know, and I may not feel like I, I don't know. Again, I, that's how I paint. I figure things out as I go, so. But I've got to remember to keep scooping paint up. You know, if we're going to be heavy, we got to, we got to get some paint. be too light. And the light is coming more from the left here. And you may see me cutting this way down. I may feel like this is too much. He's fuzzy on the top. Let's get into some of that lighter. That is very light, so we'll see how that reads. kind of fun sometimes to get in there and really lay the paint down. I paint with a gal that mostly works with palette knife when we paint outside. She does some beautiful work.
let's go just a little darker we'll mix into something yeah I want that I want to, you to feel the form you know I want you to I want it to feel like he's uh, rolling away and again this is our shadowed side there's a rule that nothing on the shadow side should be as light as anything on the light side let's see how he's looking Like now we may even get, you know, palette knife in here. Yeah, I'm starting to kind of intermix some colors because I may feel like that's actually too dark. And that's the thing with oil. See, I can lay this color over top and it catches some of what's underneath and... Uh, You get something in between, you know. So far I've stayed with this little brush. I may have to get some more crimson out. I said the reference photo is not the best and part of it's it because I uh, zoomed in on it so uh, it's not real clear for me sure this feels to be in the center Yeah, I've got to go back up to the college and get some photos of my work. Um, I only got a good photo of one of them. going to uh, get a little brush out and uh, work do a little more to the eyes too I feel as though this is a little off you know it's, it's not lining up quite right here did the um, short videos of when I painted out last Tuesday I did go out and paint another evening I did a house in town here 
pretty busy traffic wise so but I should have done another short and showed you the finish you never know where this is going to go I'm not like I said I'm not in any hurry to finish it and sometimes I turn the camera off and I think Oop. you know you scrape it off or you uh, kick it back or All right, I'm going to get some, a little bit more orange there in the eye. And I want to highlight on the top of the eye, but um, I want it to be on the cool side because the sky reflection. Um, they do have tags in their ears, you know. I'm going to have to look for a better photo. Man, I can't even see them. But I think I want a tag in their ear. see those well enough or not. Taking a good look at him, see what I think. So far, I haven't used that big brush. I I've been scooping up a lot of paint with this, the brush that I have. Let's get some heavier paint in the ear there. always seem to have a dark line that runs down from the eye. I want that piece on top of the ear so it looks like his ears are kind of hanging down you know we're seeing that I kind of like that Let me get up away from it here. Let me 
yanked my mic off. Hold on just a sec. Maybe not bad. You know, until I get the texture in the body, it's going to be hard to tell exactly where I'm going. I changed the he shape of this little guy's head. Um, he had quite the distended kind of jaw, and I wasn't sure how well I liked it. So I did change that a little bit. Sorry if I was kind of cutting that off some. Try a little palette knife even. Just having fun. Like I said, there's no mistakes here because if I don't like it, I'll be I'll be scraping it back and redoing it. So I think I told you I'm painting at a farm at a it's a paint out it's not really a competition the end of next month and uh, they are supposed to have sheep there and ger generally you can't paint you know an animal on location but I don't know I might try you know if you can block in the outside the silhouette of the animal and you know what they look like sometimes you can get away with that so uh, I'm gonna think about that I think people would like to see me paint the sheep, you know. And when I paint the background in, then we may be coming back and hitting some of these edges again also, you know. I want that edge just a little darker than the top. in the picture. Whoa, I got an awful lot of paint there. The one that's in the picture is really dark under the nose. I don't know if I like that or not. We'll see. If you follow me on Facebook, I, uh, I've been posting pictures of the show from last night. You might check it out. away I think could be a little lighter.
body, you know, we're going to want to handle it different. We're going to want to get a lot more pain early. You know, they're kind of ragged and nappy, and uh, so we're going to want to handle it different. I wonder why, uh, while we're here, if we shouldn't go ahead and put some paint on the other guy's face, because I have all this paint, you know. I think we will do that. to get some more paint out here. Some more ultramarine. I go through a lot of ultramarine. I go through a lot of uh, transparent red oxide, it seems. I was watching a guy today on YouTube. I just ran across his channel. He um, was painting in Austria, someplace. He didn't speak English, apparently, and the video was kind of narrated, and uh, he was painting on the street, and he worked on two different paintings, and these paintings must have been 10 foot wide by 7 foot tall. They brought them in, like, the stretched across some kind of metal grid, and they put him under a, a tent kind of thing. Um, he painted for days and days. It was very different. Um, didn't really get to see either one of the paintings completely finished, though. Unfortunately, I would have liked to have. Um, the first painting, I think I was liking better. It was uh, more of a landscape. The second painting was uh, buildings and uh, different, though, working that way, huh? I know um, if you follow Dan Nelson, I like him. He's not really doing much these days online, I don't think, but. Um, he would paint on the street. He was kind of a performer and a painter, and he'd put great big canvases up, and he'll paint at your wedding. He's a good artist. So we're just jumping around, keeping in mind that this is the lighter side. Under our lighter mixture there. Let's get more paint. Want lots of paint. Not really worried about getting too much. We can always, you know, go the other way. I even thought about both of these sheep are white, obviously, but I even thought about making them different colors. I've got that other painting I started too, I haven't touched. It's a whole herd of sheep. That should be a fun challenge. But we're really focusing in on these guys, obviously. All right, scoop up paint. We want to get a lot of paint. to be just alike, you know.
fun to, you know, put a lot of paint on there. This should be a bit darker. Get a little like shadow under the edge there, I think, so it feels like you know it's a little bit thick, I think. That I'm not proclaiming anything is done, that's for sure. It may completely change. And I think it's good to change up the photos so they feel like they're yours too, instead of trying to exactly copy the photo. I did not at all. I cropped in, cropped way in on it. And I said I changed the guy on the left a lot. So you would never know. I mean, I guess you could go in and do a real loose eye too, but I think the eyes are important and uh Let me change the shape of that one a little bit. Got to keep them on the side, you know. Boy, some people are incredibly loose, aren't they? Just uh, art's very interesting. <laughs> we're all doing something different. That's what I always say. We're not really in competition. We're all doing our own thing. I like the challenge of painting a real object, but a lot of people, you know, you've seen them, they, gosh, they're loose. Again, we've got this Trying to see if things feel right. You know, um, they talk about if you do a double portrait, which this kind of is a double portrait, that um, maybe one should be your focus instead of jumping back and forth. You have to think about that with two faces. Um, probably, you know, if I leave them a bit more textured, that's probably where your eye will go first. There's a lot of, people have a lot of rules and uh, what is it they say? They were meant to be broken. People say, where's your focal point? I hear that a lot. Um, I don't think you always have one. I think sometimes um, 
It's about moving the eye through the painting, keeping the eye in the painting. Uh, sometimes you'll have a series of things. You'll go from here to here to here. Um, figure out what works. I mean, but yeah, there's some people that are very thick, what, you know, they follow the rules and, uh, but like I said, I've seen some still lifes that are set up by most people's standards very awkwardly, but beautifully painted and they work, so just figure out what you do. This guy kind of has a curly mass on top of his head. paint on here so we're gonna use it. This guy's mouth should be a little lighter too. want them to be perfect, you know, with all this texture they wouldn't be. I'm looking at that. There's a chance I may have pulled that eye over too far. I have to look at that. That's why I say nothing's finished till it's finished. I may be, like I said, they're strange eyes anyway. Like I said, they're around the side of their head. And I want them to feel like that, so... I look at these, they're lighter under their eyes. Yeah, the guy, he sp I started out, if you recall, and he had a weird kind of, I don't know, I kept playing with him. I want him to be cute. <laughs> And again, when we get the background in, I may, you know, really come back and I don't know what I'll do. I have to decide. I do like the texture, though. It's fun, isn't it? So I'm going to have to really do a lot to the bodies to make them feel so they work with the heads. Yeah, 
you know, we'll have some nice light on the edge of his body here too. Got to think about our light source and nice light on that side of him. All right, I'm going to back out in front of him. I thought I'd just let you watch me get going on these heads tonight. We've been at it about 40 minutes, so not too long. Get you in there. See all the texture. And a cute little eye. I'm still not 100% sure. I don't know that that... I said then I have to think about those eyes. They got to be on the side of his head. So we're looking, we're kind of looking at the side of his head. That one might be out there a little too far. And then there's this guy. So there we are. We took him a little further. Like I said, the bodies will get a lot more texture. Yeah, I'm feeling like maybe this guy's eye. See, I think it might feel better if we brought it in a little bit. When are they ever done, right? Okay, that was kind of fun. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll keep plugging along. Hopefully bring you in again, and uh, I never know what I'm doing from day to day. So, all right, watch for me next time, and like and subscribe, please, if you haven't done that. All right, you have a wonderful evening. Good night.